there, church family and internet friends. I'm Lauren Atkins, the director of youth ministry at Shady Grove United Methodist Church in Short Pump. And the other day I was on the phone with a friend of mine and she said, oh, a landscaper's just leaving my house. And I was totally amazed because my friend Angie Wetzel, who some of you may know, she is a plant lady. She loves plants. Um, she often talks about how she definitely connects the most with God through nature. Um, she gifts plants to people. She takes plants from other people and replants them in her yard. She's moving stuff around all the time. And I was like, why do you need help from a landscaper? Like plants are your thing. And she was like, well, I mean, I, I like plants and I like moving them around and everything, but I don't always know what to do with them. And there's some gaps in my landscaping and I really would like them to look better and all stuff. And I was totally amazed because I have a black thumb. I can't keep plants alive basically. And um, for me, Angie is like an expert. And I'm so in awe of all this through her that the idea that she would be asking for help when she um, knows so much about plants was amazing to me. And I said, oh my gosh, even you need to ask help from a landscaper? Like you, even you, she was like, well, yeah. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not insanely an expert about it. And I was so just, my mind was just blown by this. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, even people that do something a lot, even people that love something, even people that know a lot about a specific thing, maybe even if you are an expert on a specific thing, you still need to ask for help sometimes. You still have to ask for help sometimes. And so that's the two things that I took away from this conversation with my friend Angie was one, just because someone is better at something than you are, doesn't mean that they don't have shortcomings too. And so just because um, Angie's a great plant lady and that's, you know, a, a, a big spiritual connection that she has in her life and something that brings her a lot of joy, that doesn't mean she doesn't need to ask for help. Um, even though I'm not there at all, I would still need to ask for help like way before her. Um, and then the second thing is that even when you are really into something, really, really into it, um, there are going to be times that there's gaps in your knowledge or gaps in your understanding or gaps in your ability. So don't be afraid to ask for help. And so I've just been kind of chewing on that for a week and thinking about all the places where in my life, like, am I um, putting other people up on a pedestal and not recognizing that they have to ask for help sometimes to be able to be even better, to learn and to grow? And then two, are there places in my life where um, in my leadership or my communication or my relationships, is there a place where even if the scene, things seem okay, I could always learn and grow more. So I challenge you to think about the same thing. Um, but in the meantime, please know that I miss you. I care for you. and I'm praying for you. Bye.